What's up guys, welcome to Supercars in London. Hope you're having a great day. Welcome to my living room in Hertfordshire, four days away from my biggest adventure since the beginning of 2020. I'm currently self-administering a self-isolation because I have to do a COVID test 24 hours before my flight to Los Angeles. I'm going to the United States and we start this video early because I want to document the entire process of entering into the United States during these times. I'm heading out there with Bentley, but I'm going to be up to all sorts of activities that I've planned myself and Bentley have given me a car for the duration of the trip. There is so much to look forward to and in this video, hopefully it will span from now until my arrival in Los Angeles. Fingers crossed. I test negative on this COVID test. For the last two years, I've never actually produced a positive COVID test. So I must be doing something right to dodge COVID. But we start this video with a public service announcement. Cora, who I'm a brand ambassador for, have just announced auto pay on their app, making it so easy for UK drivers to get in and out of the congestion charge zone, ULES zone with auto pay. It's £10 to set up, then Cora don't take any fees from any transactions, but it automatically pings your account, takes the money out, so you will never get fined. The other thing that's worth noticing, the other thing worth noting, seeing as I am going to Heathrow to Los Angeles, is there is now a drop-off charge of £5 that you can pay within the Cora app. Again, Cora encapsulating all of those annoying administrative payments in one place so that you can do them, or Cora can now do them on auto pay. So that is super good news. If there is one thing you do this year, it's download Cora. If you drive in the UK, it will save so much time, even down to stuff like car insurance, which I will need to do because I'm now carless. Literally five minutes ago, the Bentley got picked up. I did film it out of that window, but the Bentley is now driven off and I'm officially carless. So this weekend, I'm gonna be using my girlfriend's car. On Monday, I fly to Los Angeles. Let's get this thing, let's get this show on the road. Let's, let's get this thing on the road is not a saying. Let's get this show on the road and have an amazing time in California. Fingers crossed, touch wood, I test negative. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Los Angeles. The local time here is just approaching 1.25 in the afternoon. And while we taxi to the terminal, can I ask you to keep your seatbelt fastened until the captain has turned off the fasten seatbelt signs. It out. We are in self-isolation for 30 minutes. It's not too bad. We got to the hotel, did a quick lateral flow test, which we're waiting for the results, which means I have to stay in my room for 30 minutes, which is not such a bad thing because there are some really lovely Bentley touches. One of them being over here with a little fruit bowl and a lovely message from guest relations from the hotel. But this <laughs> has wowed me the most. I've got personalized pillowcases on my bed in my beautiful hotel room. Well, we've got a USB here, we've got some messages from Bentley, and whilst we are here for 48 to 72 hours with Bentley, it is going to be a whirlwind experience, but we are in central Beverly Hills. This is the first time that I've come to Los Angeles and actually stayed in Beverly Hills. And when I mean central Beverly Hills, I'm walking out the front door as soon as I get my negative COVID test, I'm walking out the front door and going car spotting because the sun is shining and I've already seen some unbelievable motors cruising around Beverly Hills and it being Monday afternoon. I just heard something. Oh, I cannot wait to get outside. It is torture. The view's actually quite cool, a bit tropical. But whilst we uh, have to wait for this test, I'm just gonna chill out. What a beautiful room. It's so cool. It's almost quintessentially British. Hello? Yes. Hiya. 
Wonderful news. <laughs> Check these whips out. A white 992 GT3. That looks so good with the rim pitch straps around the wheels. Green Lambo. A red Ferrari Roma, which I don't actually think looks too bad. And a green Urus. See, I still think they look good. And I've seen some for 50, 60 grand on Auto Trader. Oh, there's a 48 over there as well. I'm literally just panning the camera around. <laughs> Supercars everywhere. I'm actually heading over there because there's an M4 fully kitted out. It's got a massive wing, carbon wheels. That is going to be a cool thing. I'm just waiting again for this to go green. Check this rocket out. This looks like it is fully set up for the track. BBS wheels. Look at this wing. APR performance. I'm pretty sure they did a carbon kit for the GTR. Didn't take long for a Urus. Oh, I know that, mate. Oh. Oh. Which way do I go? <laughs> this is a joke. This is January, Monday afternoon in Beverly Hills. And everywhere I turn the camera, there is something cool. I think I'm going to go on Santa Monica Boulevard. Oh, I don't know. I'm on Rodeo now. The Turbo S cab just gone up there as well. I literally am not quick enough to catch the cars go around. And I can just hear so many noises. This looks awesome. Sam, this is what you need to get next. The brand new X4M. That looked ridiculous. We love a Porsche. Is that another Model Y? That is a Model Y. She's probably like, why is he filming my car? Sick. I'm filming these cars because that ghost there has just been followed by that Cadillac. I'm guessing it is someone famous. And they're going in that way. I'm going to have no idea who is in there. Might have to do some research. But that is definitely a security car. AMG GTR Roadster has just pulled out of a car park as I was chasing after that black ghost with that Cadillac behind it. I'm going to be doing some research later trying to find out who the hell was in that car. It was definitely someone famous. That's what I love about LA. Oh, sick. say this every time I come here I need to move out here <laughs> it is as simple as that this is January on a Monday afternoon I literally thought it was going to be a ghost town I thought it was going to be dead because in London on a Monday afternoon in January it is this is <laughs> ridiculous it's just a satin black g-wagon there cruising around new s-class I've got a feeling that I'm going to see something ridiculous at some point today. There's another white G-Wagon going on up there. What's this coming up? AMG GTC. It is literally, I could keep the camera rolling. There's another one behind it. I could keep the camera rolling and just film cars. One. Oh, I prefer that one. That's a better spec. Sorry, number one, but number two is nicer. And then a G-Wagon. I'm just going to let them go through the camera now because it is ridiculous. Literally one street across from all of the carnage and we've got that, the sun setting on these buildings up here. It is such a cool place. I am so excited and happy to be here. Knowing what I would have done in the UK if I tested positive and not been able to come on this trip. There was a lot of anxiety, a lot of feeling apprehensive about the whole long-haul journey, wearing a mask for such a long period of time, doing one of these long-haul journeys again. But now that I'm here, and by the way, it was a super stress-free experience from start to finish, door to door, from Heathrow to LAX. So if you are thinking of coming out to America, it's pretty simple, a lateral flow test 24 hours before flying, and then we're having to do extra tests here because obviously we're, we're with Bentley, it's an event, there are a lot of people. Every single day we will be testing because I think 
we'll also be sharing cars. Um, but now that I'm here, all of that anxiety has gone completely out of the window. There was an element as well, because I was got, getting so used to being at home, actually leaving my fiance. That is a Ferrari V12, sounded like an A12. Traction wiggling there. What I was gonna say was even the thought of leaving my fiance, uh, now that I can say that, because for the last two years we'd been at home, there've been various lockdowns, you got into that routine. But now that I'm here, with everything that I've got coming up, it is gonna be epic. There is a Ferrari up there, but it wasn't that that was making all of that racket. Whatever it was, it was in that direction. But look at that sunset. If you live in LA, you are one lucky son of a gun. This is gonna be, <laughs> this is gonna be so cool. I will see you soon guys. Take care, goodbye. Oh, nice little M4. Oh, look at that Ben Sega. That is amazing. Oh, 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 hold on a minute. There's a Bentayga convoy. Speciale just gone down there. Sam will be so angry with me. I've literally just got back to the hotel. And right there, I think it's a, just a coupe, just a coupe. 